Hey YTPC, just wanted to jump on to do a quick review. This is actually kind of grown to be one of my favorite blends. Um, maybe not the favorite, but definitely in my top 10. Um, it's not rare, but it's not one I hear people talk about often. Um, and so I thought I'd share it with you and uh, share my thoughts. I'm smoking a Svenborg. Uh, Lavat, Lavat shape pipe with a little light sandblast. So this is the blend. I've got it in a jar. It actually comes in, I think, a tin that's almost like a paint can. At least, in, I don't know how things are in Europe, but in the U.S., the paint can, you can kind of just hammer it back down and it stays pretty sealed. Um, so you might be able to reuse the, the tin on that. But at any rate, I put it in a jar. So this is Rainier Gold. Um, I think if you go to uh, tobaccoreviews.com, it's Rainier Long Golden Flake Blend Number 71 is like the, the full name. So you will see on the back here it says Blend 71, Gold Blend 71. So anyways, I took the, uh, the kind of collar around the tin and put it on my jar. So... Um, This is kind of an interesting blend. It is a Virginia Perique with a little bit of white burley. And then they say it has a slight topping of honey and orange. Um, so it's kind of a, a unique tobacco in that sense. I'm not an aromatic fan, but those toppings aren't in there in any kind of aromatic sense. Um, It's called Long Golden Flake. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it kind of comes spun up in a long, really long flake like that. You can see kind of nice orangish Virginias. Um, there's some little flecks of darker Perique, just a touch of Perique. There's not a, a lot of Perique in this. It's a very mellow blend, and I'll get to that in a little bit. The, the nose, though. You can smell, so I don't smell orange, but I do get like a citrusy note. I can pick up a little bit of that sweetness from the honey in the Virginias. And then it's got, I mean, besides your normal tobacco kind of um, raisiny, plummy kind of smells, it's got a little bit of like a, a black tea note. Um, but excellent, excellent. It smells wonderful. Um, it comes, I, I want to say, in a 100 grand tin, so you get a good amount, um, so hopefully you like it, right? Um, so that's how it smells. It's got a, you know, some burly in there. I still, I like, I'm not a big burly fan, but I like it in flakes in combination with Virginia. Burley to me has kind of a little bit of a bitter walnut kind of acridness to it sometimes. So I really like it in combination with Virginia's because uh, they kind of sweeten that up. And so, you know, Burley burns cooler and uh, puts off more smoke. And so I, li I like those characteristics, but then the Virginia balances it out. I don't take get a lot of the Perique, maybe a little bit of the plummy flavor to it, um, but not a real pepperiness. Yeah, very nice. I like this one. Um, a little bit of a, on the sweeter side. Um, like, again, like I said, not in any way aromatic, but more on the brighter Virginia. Um, you know, the the burley gives it a a little bit of a little bit more stoutness, so it's not too pale. Um, but it's it's very mellow. It's still very mellow. You get a little bit of the citrus, a little bit of grass, um, a little bit of nut, nutty earthiness from the burley, um, and just, you know, some sweetness that kind of sings through it. I like sweeter blends. I've got a sweet tooth. Uh, if you're into more savory, uh, if you're somebody like 
you know, uh, Bradley stuff and things. Um, this would be less for you. Um, again, not in any way an aromatic sweetness, but just a nice kind of Virginia with a little bit of honey note to it. A little bit like the uh, Solani Virginia Flake with Perique. It's a little bit in that on that ilk. And I like this because it has just a little bit of burly. Um, just to add a little bit more, a little bit more smoke. Um, it's a little bit less sticky and goopy. Not that Virginia Flake with Perique from Solani is, is all that sticky or goopy, but it is a little bit. Um, this is less so. But yeah, I really enjoy smoking this. Um, it's 30 degrees out. I know a lot of people like to smoke um, Virginia's in the summer time. You know, that a little bit lighter smoke for them, whereas you bring out the Latakias for the fall. I agree with the Latakias for the fall. But for me, Virginia's, if you really want to get a good flavor out of them, you really have to go slow, you know, have a, a slow cadence um, and not let it get too hot. And if it's 70, 80 degrees outside, that becomes almost impossible, even with the breath method. So um, I'll, I'll smoke Virginia's in the summer, but I particularly like uh, Virginia Burley's in the summer. Um, it's still lighter than an English, but it's got enough Burley in it that it kind of cools it a little bit. It's not super hot. Um, something like an Aaron Moore or like a Rainier Long Golden Flake um, is excellent for the summer. Um, I know, especially some newer pipe smokers, trying to smoke Virginias in the summer and they're just not enjoying it. And uh, I think a lot of that has to do with it's just hard to keep it from getting too hot because Virginias have more sugar content. So, you know, definitely this is an ex excellent blend for the summer, as is Aaron Moore, like I mentioned, or a GLP Stonehenge Flake is another Virginia Burley. Um, any of those is great for the summer. So cheers, guys. I hope you liked the review. Uh, let me know if you've had this blend and uh, what you thought of it. Take care. Enjoy your pipes.